Welcome back to my book reviews and today we are talking this, The Murmur of Bees. Oh my god, this book is so amazing. Uh, I can't even wait. I'm going to be talking to her and I can't wait but I just had to put this out because the book comes out today. Okay, so I just had to tell you guys about it. Look at this cover and anybody who knows me like knows that this is terrifying to me. Like, I am so afraid of bees. I hate bees so much. But let me show you something else, too. When I went, I took, I always look at the inside and look. A bee. A bee. A bee. Ah, God. But it is such a cool story. Sevilla, I'm going to say this, Segovia, okay? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I don't know that it's anything weird, but um, she is Mexican. I think she's Spanish. Okay, but this book is about the Mexican Revolution, and um, it is her writing is just amazing. Okay, and this is a long book. It's 468 pages. Okay, not an easy like you look at it and you're like, oh, this isn't going to be easy, but it's deceptive. Because I did this, read this really, really fast. I read it in a day. And I usually have a hard time. Anything over 400 pages usually takes me two days. But this story is so amazing that I just went right through it. So um, basically, let's see if I can summarize the beginning for you. Is like this baby is, maybe I should read it. Okay. From the day that old Nana Reja Reha. I'm sure the J is silent. Found a baby abandoned under a bridge. The life of a small Mexican town forever changed. Okay, so the baby's name is, and I'm not going to get this right, so don't judge. Simonipia, Simon Opia. Okay, and he basically he has like a cleft palate. Okay, but when she finds him, he's covered in bees, but they're not stinging him. Okay. <laughs> Need we say much more? But anyway, so she brings this baby back and um, and the town kind of adopts him. But it, his parents, Francisco, Francisco and Beatrice Morales, basically they adopt him into their family. And this goes through, okay, so during the Spanish flu, there's a lot about the Spanish flu. And then into the Mexican Revolution. Um, and it's like a family story, but it's like a town story too if that makes any sense at all because that because it was a small town and I don't think they were all related per se but they all knew each other okay and I have so many questions for Sophia like I cannot wait to talk to her because I don't even know how she came up with this story but it is so intriguing and the thing about Simon Opia Simon Opia is that he has like a gift, okay, where he can like see things. And mm -hmm. I wanna say more, but I, I don't wanna say more. I really don't because I really want you guys to read it. And don't be put off by how, you know, how many pages it is because it reads really fast. She is amazing, okay, amazing. And um, I have like, all these bookmarks are for her. <laughs> when I talk to her because those are the questions that I have to ask her and um but that you know the cover is beautiful I love the the title is and then the ending the ending is so amazing and you know what I went back and then I read the beginning and I was like oh, I didn't want this story to end okay this is one of those books that because it is so long I don't know if you've ever read like Les Mis did you ever read that did you ever like sit down I did <laughs> I have read Les Mis and you don't want it to end. You get done. You, you've invested yourself. And that's one of like, that's what this book is like. Like you invest the time, invest yourself. And then at the end, you're like, <sighs> okay, it's over. It's over. <laughs> what am I going to do? And I don't know if she's coming up with a sequel or not. I have no idea. I think everything that I've looked at, this is her second book. So I was also going to ask her that when I talked to her, but I just had to get this book review out there so that you guys go buy this, okay? Look at that one more time. Look at the cover. It is so, so beautiful. And um, we will move on with our day. I have other books to read. I just, I finished it and I'm like, oh my God, I just have to talk about this book today because I need to move on. And sometimes even doing this, 
like I can move on then and go read something else. Like I, I'm very weird like that. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please hit like, please let me know if you plan on reading it. What do you think? Or if you have read it, I mean, it's just coming out, but I know it's out there. So, you know, give me your thoughts or if you've ever read any of her other books, I think that her first one was called Pilgrim, Pilgrims, something like that. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow.